Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Our ego pulls us into dunya. Our desires pull us into dunya. A shaitan pulls us into dunya. We are in dunya. Whether you like it or not, we're in, in the dunya. We are in the world. We are in the asfala safilin, the lowest of the low. Allah has sent us here. It is the natural inclination of a shaitan, of our ego, of our hawa, our desires of this world to pull us into the dunya. Do you think that our ego, shaitan, our desires and dunya, it is stronger than Allah? Astaghfirullah. Do you think it is stronger than the Prophet Astaghfirullah. Do you think it is stronger than our faith? Do you think it is stronger than our spirit? No. They are not. Our spirit is stronger. So this is when you're going to use your will. The will that Allah gave you, that although you're living in the middle of the dunya, inside the dunya, although shaitan and your desires and your ego is pulling you to the dunya, you are now going to use your will to say no to the dunya and to aim yourself for the ahirat and to make a bridge to the ahirat. This is when you use your will. Using your will is when you have a choice and you say yes or you say no. Using your will is not when you don't have a choice. That's not using a will. To have food there in front of you, but now you have a choice whether to eat or not to eat. It is during the month of Ramazan. You have a choice. That is the time you're using your will to say, no, I cannot. Why? Because of Allah. Of course, you can use your will for the sake of shaitan, for the sake of your ego too. We're not going to enter into that part yet. Why? Because for the sake of Allah, you're not going to. That is how you're going to use your will. To use your will when your nafs is kicking so hard to you. You want to do it, but you know that it is wrong. And you say, now, just because of my Lord, I'm going to stop it. That is using your will. Using your will is not when you don't have food. Then you say, I don't have food. Well, I need to lose some weight anyway. So I may as well fast. It's not really using your will. That is being slick. Like some people saying, why you want to study so much, to work so much? I'm saying because I want to earn a lot of money and I want to be generous and I want to help the Muslims. Huh? So many people speaking this way, isn't it, Muslims? Then we ask them, are you helping Muslims now? Are you being generous to the Muslims now, to the people around you? They say no, it's impossible then for you to be later. When you have little and you don't share, you think when you have so much that you earn for yourself, you're going to share? Generosity is not whether you have a little or you have a lot. Generosity is coming from your heart when your heart says, I must share. You're not going to learn generosity through books. You have to be raised by it. You have to be raised with Islam. You have to be raised by Allah in the way Then you're going to learn. So, we're getting pulled to all of this, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is speaking to us. The prophets, they are sending the help. The angels, they are sending the help. The friends of Allah, they are sending the help. Why are we still listening to dunya and say that dunya is very strong? Dunya cannot be stronger than Allah and His Prophet. Dunya cannot be stronger than the lowest awliya uh, Allah. That's because we choose to make the dunya to be strong. You understand? Because we say, 
We don't want to do something that is difficult. We want to do something that is easy. And that's when people will lose a lot. But you think what is easy is you're going to pay a lot for it next time. It's easy. I'm making easy money. You will suffer later. Like those stockbrokers and the floor. Hmm? They're dealing with stocks. They earn a lot of money, right? So much. Young guys in their early 20s, they earn millions. Spending money, but the work environment that they are in is so stressful that they did a research over decades and they found out that people who work in the stock exchange on the floor especially, whatever money that they earn, they actually lose a lot because they have to pay the medical bills later because they're going crazy, their health suffers. So you don't earn. At the end of the day, you don't earn that much. The dunya is saying that to you. Come, we will give you, come. We will give you. It will give you, but it's going to take something back so much more that you're going to suffer for it. May Allah protect us from that, inshallah. Mm. How are you going to learn how to navigate, how to walk through this dunya? You're going to find someone who has walked through this dunya. That's how you're going to do it. You don't know how to go up to the Himalayas. Hmm? What are you going to do? You're going to say, I need to scale the Himalaya mountains. Or I need to go through the Amazon jungles. Are you just going to get a backpack? Even if you have a map and just go? No intelligent person is going to do that. He's going to find a what? A guide. Huh, forget about Himalayas. To get the best uh, experience in um, Chinatown, <laughs> you must find uh, a tour guide. Isn't it? Because even if you pass through that street 100 times, you don't know what it is, but the tour say, you see this one? This one, very uh, rich man used to live. This one mm, used to be this kind of business. This one, very famous people. So you understand the importance of having a tour guide, having a guide, going up the mountains, going through the jungles, you need a guide. Going through this dunya, more you need a guide. Then to make the journey from this dunya to Ahirat, you absolutely need a guide. Understand? Well, people are ignorant and arrogant. They say, why? Like the khutbah is saying, no? I know how to read and write. Why do I have to follow a guide? I can find the own way. Then find your own way. Go. Take this map we're going to give you. Go up to the peak of Mount Everest. Take this map and go through the Amazon jungle. Take this map and now go from Sydney Center to Manhattan. You think you will be able to? People who follow GPS, they're going to get lost. But you have a guide who's sitting next to you and say, take this rope, don't take this rope. But GPS said, don't. Because this one is you're going to pass by so many Starbucks and McDonald's is going to pull you because they made an agreement to put you through that route so that you're going to buy things. Take this one, it's better. May Allah always keep us under the guidance, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.